we get Gideon. Gideon. Wow, this Gideon is probably one of the best Gideons I've seen. He's reasonably costed. Uh, and that's good. Uh, Gideon, ally of Zendikar. Two double white, planeswalker. Gideon. Now, this is the aggro Gideon I've been looking for. Um, and it is the ally Gideon. So, allies might be a deck. Like, I told you guys speculate on allies a little bit before. This might be the reason. It might be a deck. Gideon, ally of Zendikar. Plus one. Until end of turn, Gideon, ally of Zendikar becomes a 5 5 human soldier, ally creature with indestructible. That's still a planeswalker. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to him. So he's a 5-5. Five, five. Zero. His zero is incredible. 2-2 uh, two, two white knight ally creature token on the battlefield. This is insane. Like, he is a token producer. He, I mean, loyalty at 4? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Uh, minus 4. You get an emblem with creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1. That emblem is not interesting to me at all. I think the second ability is bonkers good. The second ability, given the fact that allies, that you have a way to continuously generate allies, is incredible. I mean, it's very, very good. Like, I don't understand how this is a card. I want to make, I mean that in the best way possible. Full loyalty, the ability to generate tokens. If Elspeth, Sun's champion at six, uh, is the, as dominant as CP came in standard and still is dominant so he's still played in abzin then what does this card mean this card is by far the best gideon i've seen um and that's not to take any way anything away from the first gideon gideon jora but this one is faster it does more its second ability is wild i have never like i would not have imagined the second ability to be that good so really really good card